Well, good evening, everyone, and happy Saturday. I hope you were able to enjoy all of your Saturday plans. Even though we had a bit of a soggy start this morning, we had cold front push through the area, which gave us measurable rainfall. We also had a low pressure, a little mesocyclone there, which really increased those scattered showers and storms across the area. Right now, just dealing with some isolated drizzle, but definitely looking a lot drier. And check out those overcast skies right now. Definitely looking spooky right in time for Halloween, which is right around the corner temperatures in the lower and mid 60s as we take a look across central Alabama mainly going to be in those lower and mid 60s Aniston a little bit warmer in the upper 60s right now trying to hold on to the 70s and again measurable rainfall today I know it wasn't the best setup it was extremely gloomy this morning but we got measurable rain that we haven't seen in quite some time almost an inch here in Tuscaloosa over an inch in Birmingham and a little over half an inch in Haleyville in our more northern portions of the state again all of this rain really due to that cold front that came through the area and this cool mesocyclone that we got to see on radar this enhanced our rain chances and just really made it widespread tomorrow that's not what we're going to be looking at at 6 a.m you could see again some patchy drizzle and patchy fog in the morning it's going to be quite cool behind that front in the mid and upper 50s but by the afternoon hours that rain's going to really taper off but cloud cover is still going to stick around and our temperature is again much cooler and seasonable for this time of year we'll be in the mid and upper 70s by the afternoon hours now can you expect any more rain in the forecast you definitely can we're going to be having some isolated showers and storms these chances will continue throughout the next couple of days through Monday and Tuesday and they really enhance as we get into midweek midweek we have another cold front coming through our area which will increase the number of showers and storms and we also are tracking a tropical system this depending on where it tracks could give us more widespread showers and storms as well. So as we go throughout the overnight hours, seeing a few sprinkles out there, again, gonna have some mist and drizzle during the early morning hours, but likely by the afternoon, we will be drying out. And on Monday, much of the same story, but temperatures will be warmer and we'll be able to see much more peaks of sunshine within those clouds. So let's talk about the tropics. We're now track tracking, excuse me, tropical depression 28. This long break that we got from the tropics is over. I know it seems, why are we still having to deal with the tropics? Right now has sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. Its movement is stationary, so definitely not moving a lot. It's sandwiched right there in between Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula. We will continue to track this as it moves northwestward with this incoming trough, this cold front that will be making its way by midweek. It is expected to strengthen into possibly a strong tropical storm or a category one hurricane again we'll have to make further adjustments as we get more details from models in the next upcoming days but right now it has a northwestward track towards the northern gulf you see portions of louisiana mississippi florida and alabama all in the cone of uncertainty right there we'll have to track it as it approaches and makes landfall by wednesday tonight though lows in the lower and mid 50s a few drizzles and patchy fogs here and there tomorrow going to be dealing with morning drizzle till the afternoon and that cloud deck's going to stick around highs much more seasonal for this time of year so a lot going on this week weather wise we see some increasing rain chances by midweek with this associated front and possibly with the tropics that we're tracking right now but we also see some cooler temperatures behind that front. Look at Friday. We're going to be in the upper 60s. And by Halloween on Saturday, again, it is far out. But right now, it is looking quite nice. 